I'm going to talk about a metabolic test that will actually measure how your body burns fat as a source of fuel. But make sure you watch this entire video because remember I have a special bonus for you at the end. This metabolic testing initially and was mostly used with elite and professional athletes. The idea of the test is to, is to find and measure uh, a way to measure how the body uses fat as a primary source of fuel. And if we could teach an athlete's body how to use fat as a source of fuel, they'll be able to bike longer or exercise longer and run longer since their body is using its own energy in the store as fat. Okay, what we want to do this to the everyday person now is we're using this test to actually see where their body burns fat so we could develop a custom exercise program based on their specific metabolism so we could teach their body to be efficient at burning fat. Believe it or not, most people are not very efficient at burning fat. Uh, most people are causing their body to be a sugar burner or a carbohydrate burner. Simply going to the gym and hopping on a treadmill and running for an hour doesn't mean you're going to burn a lot of fat. You burn a lot of calories? Yeah, maybe. But what type are those calories? Are those calories come from sugars, proteins, or fats? If we're trying to lose weight, we want those to make sure those calories are, burned, uh, are, are being burned are coming from fat. We want to make the most of the workout, don't we? Um, so simply hopping on a treadmill or a bike and riding for an hour, um, you're guessing with that. The, this test, what we could actually do is measure how your body burns fat. And we could actually pinpoint specific heart rates where your body will be most efficient at burning fat, which will then teach your body to burn fat and ultimately lose weight. What I'm going to do is, uh, well, the metabolic test is basically what we do is we have a, a, a mask here, okay? And we put the mask on and we breathe through the mask. And the mask is actually connected to a lead which measures into a, a sensor. And what I'm going to do is show you a little bit um, what the, the, the data we get here, but I'm going to go also up here and show it to you. So what's happening here is as we breathe out, our body breathes out carbon dioxide and takes in oxygen. And our sensor in here measures different ratios. And at different ratios of the carbon dioxide and oxygen we're kicking out, uh, we can determine what source of fuel that's coming, whether it's coming from fats, proteins, or carbohydrates. And so what we typically do with the test is it's very, very simple. Um, we connect you to, you, you wear the mask, uh, we have you walk on a treadmill or a bike, and we gradually increase the incline or increase the speed. You do not have to be an elite athlete to do this test. You do not have to be in shape to do this test. If you could walk, you could simply walk on, on, on the treadmill. We don't have to walk. There's other ways we can do the test, but my point is this test is available to anyone and everyone, okay? If you're extremely overweight, it's fine. We could still do this test. You don't have to be running like a madman on a treadmill. It's a simple walk test. We could even do uh, a test by just moving, moving the arms. And so what basically happens here is as we have you breathe through in, into the mask, it's recording on the, 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 the sensor. And what we eventually start to do is we get to get a, a graph of how much fat's burning as a source of fuel. So I'm going to move over to this chart right here. All I'm doing right here is, is kind of taking what, I'll, what the data we get on, on, on the, the metabolic screen here and put it up here so I can draw on it. And I'll show you the data on, on, the, on the screen here in a, in a minute. So what we do is, we, what we do is so if this graph right here is heart rate. Okay, we have a heart rate strap attracted onto you, and the computer picks up your, your heartbeat. And so now we have you um, just breathe in, gentle walk on the treadmill. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to increase that incline or have you move a little bit more of an effort to increase your heart rate. And what we start to do is we start to get a graph of heart rate increasing up here. Now, if I just put a couple numbers up here, I'm just going to put some numbers. Let's say this right, right here, there's a heart rate of 105. Let's say right here we have a heart rate of 120. And let's say here we got 130. And here we got 150 as a heart rate. Now with these heart rates, everybody is unique and everybody is different. So 
don't, I'm just using the, the, the numbers as just a, as a number. If you actually do this test, your numbers may be totally different than this, but I just put these up here for an example. And what we have here is, is, is our fat. So this graph right here is, is fat, and this is heart rate. So we have you on the treadmill, we're walking on the treadmill, we're gradually increasing the heart rate up until we get up to 150. This is graph, this is the measurement, this is what the sensor is measuring. The sensor is measuring how much, body, how much fat your body is burning at different points of heart rate and, and exercise. And what we see here is we typically will see uh, the heart rate, in, I mean the, the heart rate going up and the fat going up higher, higher, higher. And then what we do is we start to get a spot where the fat dramatically starts to drop down. Um, so what happens here is well, now we have our, our graph or our, our data. And so what we've seen right here is that a heart rate 105, they're burning some fat. We look at 120, they're burning a lot of fat. We look over at 130 and they're burning almost no fat, okay? 150, there's no fat being done. And so what this allows us to do is now we know we need, in order to, for the body to burn fat, to teach the body to burn fat, the source of fuel, to, to burn the, the fat off the body, we need to develop this type of system right up in here. But that's not what happened in most people, okay? Most people are simply going to the gym, walking on a treadmill, uh, maybe they're tracking heart rate, but they did no testing, so they don't know what's happening. So what happens is this guy right here goes to the gym and he's walking on a treadmill of 130. He's getting very little fat as a source of as a fuel. Okay, um, he needs to back it down a little bit and slow down and move into this fat burning zone. And what we see is a lot of people are kind of working out right up in here. So let's say this guy right here, he's at 135 to 150 working out. He's burning very little bit of fat. And what he's actually doing at that stage is burning off sugar, okay? He's burning the sugar within his, his body, and he's actually not teaching his body how to burn fat, but he's actually teaching his body to burn more sugar, to be more efficient at burning sugar, which is the exact opposite of what we want to do. And the thing to make sure you understand, this is not about calories. This guy right here is going to go, if he puts a heart rate monitor on and runs, at this heart rate right here for an hour, his heart rate is going to show that he burned a lot of calories, but we know it was not fat calories, it was sugar calories, okay? So this is one of the reasons why people are exercising all the time and not losing any weight, or why you exercise for a while and you drop some weight and now people are at a plateau. It's because most of the time you're burning sugar calories and your body's not burning the fat calories, okay? Other things happen up here. If this guy is constantly working out at a high heart rate um, that's, that's coming mostly from sugar calories, not from fat calories, it becomes very stressful on the body, okay? Um, you need to look at the, the video I talk about the heart rate variability stress and recovery test. But constantly at, at this heart rate, it, it causes a negative effect on our body's hormones. We have de decreases in DHEA, testosterone, estrogen. Those hormones are vital um, to help our body function properly and lose weight. So if, if the exercise people think they're doing their body a favor because they're working out really hard um, you know, in an effort to try to lose weight, but in reality sometimes what they're doing is they're having a negative effect on their body's hormones and if these hormones are not in their optimal state um, it's going to be very hard to lose weight and it becomes very stressful on the body. This is also why we also have to do some hormone testing to actually see what's going on with your body uh, as far as the hormone status and if we could possibly get the hormones back to a stage um, of more optimal function when you're younger, it's going to be uh, uh, much easier to drop weight if that happens. So let me show you actual the data here on, on the test here. So here's our actual graph. Now it's very similar to the graph that I just showed up. And what we see here is we see heart rate going up right here. Okay, see it going up. And see we got a measurement of the fat right here. Okay, and if we look at this graph here, what we see, see right here they're burning a lot of fat. They're not burning a lot of fat over here. This is what I just did up on, on the graph. And so if they are exercising at this heart rate, 
which correlates on this person to be a 150, look how little energy their body's coming from fat. So again, they're working out in here, sure they're burning a lot of calories, but they're not burning a lot of fat calories, they're burning a lot of sugar calories. So this person needs to, instead of running on a treadmill, he needs to back it down over here uh, and maybe do a, a slight brisk walk. What that's going to do is teach this body right here to be much more efficient at burning fat. And then what eventually happens with the body is this graft will shift. So as this graft will shift, that means that the body will burn more fat at a higher heart rate if we train it in this type of system and we move it over like that. Now this type of testing used to be only available for elite and professional athletes, but now we're able to combine it with the average person to help the body burn more fat as a source of fuel. And another issue is there are not many people um, doing this type of testing. Uh, most medical clinics and most diet centers um, are not doing this testing at all. Um, some people are using it at universities and some high level um, sports performance uh, uh, clinics are, are, are using this test. But this is, this is one of the main reasons why people could say, why am I not losing weight when I'm exercising? Okay, I'm trying to save you some, um, uh, some time and some energy uh, by understanding what we could uh, be done before you spend the time to go off and, and, and start the training. So with our program, what we're going to do is we're going to do this VO2 metabolic walking test on you, which will then be able to allow us to actually pinpoint where your body needs to be burning um, the, the most fat at what specific heart rate. So um, Please look through the other videos that I have on the site. The, my, my main purpose of this site is to get you all the information that you can handle so you know what our weight loss or anti-aging and lifestyle program is. We use a lot of cutting edge technology um, to actually measure your specific metabolism so we can design a program specifically for you. Remember at the beginning of the video when I said there would be a special bonus for you if you stayed to the end of the video? Well, here's the bonus. I'm offering you a special deal on our initial weight loss evaluation. Our initial weight loss evaluation costs $100. And what that includes is a consultation with me. It includes the heart rate variability stress rate recovery test where you could actually measure your body's nervous system and metabolism and see if your body is under too much stress to actually lose weight. It also includes the adrenal stress test that allows us to determine if your adrenal system is under stress. Again, if that's under stress, it's gonna be very hard to lose weight. It's gonna include the metabolic age test where we're actually gonna measure what your true metabolic age is. Lots of times what we do is we may have a 25 year come, come in and yet we find out they have the metabolism of a 50 or 60 year old. That's not a good thing. Um, it's going to include a body fat measurement where we're going to actually measure to see how much body fat you have on your body. And we're also going to measure the water on your body, see how much of your body's weight is actually just retaining in water. It's also going to include uh, a muscle mass measurement that's going to see how much muscle mass that you have on your body. If you don't have a lot of muscle mass on your body, that's going to really, really slow your metabolism down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sit down, go over these tests, talk about what your goals for weight loss might be, um, your past history with weight loss, what have you tried to lose weight, where do you think you need to be with your weight. And then what we'll do is we'll talk a little bit more about the further testing that we could do, such as the hormone testing, uh, nutritional blood testing, and um, uh, metabolic exercise or, or walk test. We'll tell you what other little information we need um, that will be necessary to get you to where you need to be. So the cost for that is $20. Normally $100, but since you stayed for this entire video, we're going to do that for you for only $20. So if you're really truly interested about taking that next step, if you're tired of the fad diets, the gimmick supplements, take that next step. Like Remember, I've been there. I was over 60 pounds over my weight. I've learned how to keep it off. Um, over the years and I really truly want to help you. I've dedicated my practice to helping people 
lose weight. So please call my office up, tell them you're calling, you watch the videos, you want the internet special consultation with Dr. Banas, and you and I will sit down and see what we need to do to get you to the next level.